that our overuse of media is, is impacting our health, impacting our mental health. That there was a clear connection between those people who reported those types of symptoms and those people who are high on, on the usage level. That kids who use any type of media at nighttime, i.e. when it's dark, have a, an explicit connection to negative sleep patterns. But the other one with regard to violence was that if they're exposed to violent media at any time, whether night or day, it also negatively impacts their sleep patterns. And that are, are actually building off some of the, the research around sleep and, and identifying that lack of sleep and, and that problem sleeping lead directly into all sorts of other health problems, whether mental in terms of stress and anxiety or physical, because your body's not actually getting the rest. And to then tie this into media use amongst young people, amongst kids, I think it's a real eye opener in terms of, of encouraging us to look at responsible use overall. We were, as a generation, raised on TV. Maybe even the baby boomers, too, in which the television played a bit of a babysitter. But I think it's also the educational system. I think it's not totally fair to put all the onus on parents when our schools have essentially internalized technology as the future, as something that they need to, to really help kids, kids connect to.